Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're going to be looking at Wallpaper Engine from Steam. Now the only way you can get Wallpaper Engine is via Steam so you're going to have to make sure that you've got Steam installed. To find Wallpaper Engine you want to get, click over to Store, Search Store for Wallpaper Engine. £3.49, it does fluctuate the price. Once you've come over here, you want to click download. That'll install it to your library. You have to go through all, through all the, uh, the setup procedure. Once it's installed, you want to come over to library. Now, this bit, you want to make sure that you are filtering correctly. Um, by clicking games and software, you have an option here to search. You can just search games. I think it's default is just games. You can search software and tools, etc. But you want to make sure that software is clicked there. Once you've installed it correctly, it should pop up down here. Double click on Wallpaper Engine. It will launch. It will also give you a uh, Wallpaper Engine icon. Here's one that I've already ha have installed. Um, so once you've got it all installed, you want to head over to your taskbar. Double click on the icon and here will it will display so I've got two two different displays you can choose which what which um, wallpaper that you want to load it to so you click change wallpaper these are all the wallpapers that I've got installed and it's literally just a case of clicking them and they'll change now it's worth mention to mention that you do want to double check the settings so if you go back down to the tray right click on wallpaper engine click settings I found the best playback settings are these for my particular system. I have got an RTX 4070 Super. So it should handle low. You can, There's different presets here. Ultra, medium, low. It all depends what hardware you're running. Um, but I usually, uh, it's either low or medium I have mine on. And I find that works best for me. Um, there are some other settings that you can run through, but it's just worth playing around with these uh, to get the best performance. Now, Wallpaper Engine will use quite a lot of resource in terms of GPU, so it is definitely worth making sure that you have the up-to-date drivers for your GPU. Um, if we go through some of the wallpapers, so it's a, you've got an easy option here to change the wallpapers. So if you right-click Recent Wallpapers, it will change it to whatever wallpapers you've got installed. You can also click Browse wall, uh, photo Workshop, where it will bring up. Click Change Wallpaper, where it will bring up your uh, search bar where you can search for anime. Anime. Um, there's so many to choose from. You can then go back over to Installed, where you'll find all of your installed wallpapers. I'll go through some of my favourites in a minute. If you've got multiple screens, here's where you would change whether you stretch, clone, or per, per display. So you can see over there, I've now not got a screensaver on this uh, screen, but on my main screen I have. If you want to have both the same wallpaper on each screen, you just click clone single wallpaper. You can also click remove wallpaper to remove it entirely so there is no wallpaper engines running. Sand Black 4K, this one's a quite a popular one on the on the platform. It's highly rated and it's where it displays the date, the day and the time. There's also audio with this one but you can disable the audio. Another one of my favourites is Angled Waves. This also moves with the cursor when you move the cursor across the screen. Abstract Golden Particles is the first one that we see. Textures on this are fantastic. Another one of my favourites is Abstract Totem. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found today's video useful. If you've got any comments, please leave them below and I'll catch you in the next one.